So we know Gearbox ran pack Borderlands with easter eggs and references. We see them on weapons, hidden in plain sight and like today introduced with new DLCs. Today I cover a few easter eggs I have found within the Bounty of Blood DLC which are definitely worth covering. And all these ain't weapon flavour text references, these are easter eggs by other means. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So who doesn't love a good easter egg? Today I bring you a few cheeky little hidden references hidden throughout the plains of Jihanna. Now these are the only ones I have seen myself, I'm pretty sure there are more out there and if you know of any please let me know down below in that comments section. Ok so let's get into it. So firstly you may have noticed, there were a few dinosaurs upon Jihanna. So it was kind of obvious that we'd see a few references to major Hollywood movies, like Jurassic Park. Now the first one I noticed and it took me straight back to Jurassic Park was during the side mission of Soldier Valley, where you eventually have to milk a dinosaur. But leading up to this point you come to a giant locked door in which behind it is the biggest dino you will see in this game. Upon opening the door it instantly reminded me of the scene in Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom towards the end of the movie where they called upon the T-Rex's help, so it was pretty cool. Daisy was unique though. Another Jurassic Park easter egg I found literally right around the corner from where this mission takes place is this one right here of a car stuck in a tree. Now this is a direct reference to Jurassic Park, I think it's Jurassic Park 1 I believe, in which we do see the same coloured car is wedged between branches in a tree. Going back and watching that scene though man it looked cheap, but I remember it back then looking absolutely incredible. So yeah it was a pretty cool easter egg to add. Next up we have a easter egg or reference which can be seen at the end of the movie, you can collect and watch basically achieve video in the creature feature crew challenge, you know you have to run around on Johanna collecting movie reels, once you collect them all you get to watch this short movie, at the end of that movie we see that the movie was made by this company. Now this probably won't mean anything to a lot of people, but I believe it looks very similar to this one here, which is a real life studio called Toho Studios. Toho Studios I believe made the original Godzilla movie and if you have watched the in-game mini movie you'll definitely understand why this easter egg makes a lot of sense. So I thought I'd add that as I think it is a great addition and I'm not sure many people would have picked up on that one. Ok so next up we have what seems to be just a fridge strapped in caution tape. Now to many people this wouldn't mean a thing, but to some out there this is in reference to another game called Control. Within this game there's a hidden side mission called Fridge Duty. Which as crazy as it seems, this is how it works. Within the game there are things known as objects of power. This fridge happens to be an object of power, and this fridge needs constant supervision or bad things are going to happen. Upon you playing control and stumbling upon this guy in this room staring at this fridge, you need to locate a person I believe to help him out. Now switching back to Borderlands, seeing that dude dead on the floor, I'm guessing the help never arrived and he fell asleep or something and left his fridge unattended. Still a very cool easter egg and reference if you ask me. Ok so lastly guys, and this is a room found at the start or a secret room found at the start of Vestige. Now you can only enter this when you've unlocked the ability to use teleporters. 
so I'll head here from the Star Vestige and enter this teleporter. You then enter a room which is full of surprises. We see a llama which isn't the first time this has been featured, which I will say can drop a unique rare grenade which you see I got here. But this room is also full of other things including no doubt movie posters referencing many classics. But a main centre point of this room is this massive wall picture which shows us the Gearbox 2020 crew, which I think is amazing, all in their cowboy and cowgirl outfits also. We also see a sign that says F you to the current pandemic going on across the globe. And there are many other things within this room too including an hilarious magazine which talks about Kinky Tink. Which I know we've seen in the past but I still find it absolutely hilarious. But yeah guys I will leave you to watch the uh, rest of me looking around this room. As I'm pretty sure there are other things in here which I haven't clocked onto. As well as many many other easter eggs which were added in with this DRC. If you know of any more please let me know down below within that comments section. Now like I said I will leave you to watch the end of this and I hope you enjoyed the video. On that note we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one